what kind of world do we live in where a normal regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date because these guys don't want a real woman they want a fantasy they want to live in this fake fantasy world they would rather jack off to some screen to some robot rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that you know why because it's easier and i am done i'm done yeah i call bullshit on this I know it's not a good look for a man to dismiss the suffering of a crying woman. Yes, like any man, when I see a woman crying, it brings up that protective masculine instinct. I do feel that, but as time has gone on in this culture, I have had to teach myself to ignore the emotion and to focus on the content, to listen to the substance, because there are so many women that are emotional, that are crying, that are complaining about how much suffering is in their lives, they're such victims, when actually it's their own fault. Take this woman, now she's obviously distressed, and I have compassion for any human being who's suffering, it sucks to see her that way, but dating isn't working out for her, and how does she diagnose the problem? Who's at fault here? Who's to blame? Come on, it's 2023, do you even need to ask? Of course, men are to blame. It's always men's fault. Men want a fantasy. Men can't deal with a real woman. A real woman, it's a fascinating phrase when used in a context like this, and we're going to unpack it, and I think you're going to be really shocked at what we discover. Because it turns out when one of these modern women uses the phrase real women, they have a very specific meaning. So what does it mean to be a real woman? It means you have mental health issues. It means you have huge emotional needs. You have chaos, anxiety, depression. I'm a real woman, and if you want me to be your girlfriend, then that means that all of those problems are now your problems. You have to deal with them. As my boyfriend, it is your job to fix all of this stuff for me. Fascinating, isn't it? Whatever happened to wanting to be a proud, independent woman? No, you see, when a modern woman wants to abscond herself of her responsibilities and just be free and not think about the obligations that she has to other people, then she's a proud, independent woman. But the moment that she needs your help and she needs you to think about your responsibilities and obligations to her... She's no longer a proud, independent woman. No, she's part of a team and she needs you to step up. And if you don't, then you're a pathetic, weak man who can't handle a real woman. It's your job as a man to sacrifice yourself and fix things for her. When you're struggling as a man, hey, that's a you problem. But when she's struggling, whoa, that's different. That's an us problem. Any man who can't stomach that hypocrisy is pathetic and just can't handle a real woman. Have you noticed how few modern women actually embrace the values of self-responsibility when it comes to their own emotions, when it comes to their own mental health issues? For a regrettably large segment of the female population, codependency is the default expectation for romantic relationships. I'm a woman, yes I have issues, and as my boyfriend, it's your job to deal with them. At its core, this belief is toxic, it's abusive, and frankly, it's sexist. Now, I am sympathetic to the criticism of men that says that we need to understand that relationships are messy, human beings are not simple, we need to put in work, we need to be there for each other. But the blanket criticism of all men as pathetic because they're growing fatigued by the increasing emotional demands of real women is completely sexist and it conveniently ignores the fact that women's expectations of men in the modern age are completely unreasonable. Every single week when guys write to me for advice on Hey Hero, I'm hearing stories of women with massive emotional needs and men putting in hundreds of hours trying to fix things for their girlfriends. The amount of work that some of these guys are putting in trying to meet the emotional needs of their partner is insane. But women get away with this because that's the masculine instinct. We feel compelled to protect, to comfort the women in our lives. When she's struggling, a lot of men feel like it's their duty, it's their honor, it's their obligation to try and help her. And it's devastating to me to see that positive, admirable instinct inside of men be so ruthlessly exposed exploited. Because for some of these women, it is a bottomless pit. Unless she is taking responsibility for her own issues, it doesn't matter what he does. It's never going to be enough. Ladies, let me be frank. If there's something wrong with you, some emotional issues, some trauma, whatever it is, 
Your boyfriend cannot fix it for you. Only you are capable of fixing that. Now, that's just a statement of fact. No amount of demanding more from your boyfriend and shaming him when he doesn't live up to your expectations are actually going to solve your inherent issues. The codependency that you're preaching cannot solve emotional problems. It just creates new ones. The expectation that it is his role to make things right for you is just going to drain him of whatever energy he has as you exploit the love that he has for you to try and do the impossible. If you keep this up, he's going to burn out. Now, I'm not saying that you don't come to him with any problems, okay? You are a team. You're meant to communicate, share what you're going through. That's healthy. But at a core level, you need to be an adult. You need to understand that your issues are your issues and it's your responsibility to fix them. Anything else is toxic codependence and it's not going to end well. We saw some examples of that in my course. In those stories, we saw how quick women are to question a man's love, to question a man's commitment to her when the real motivation is to simply manipulate him into doing more for her. Yes. Yes, I have heaps of emotional issues. Yes, I have unresolved trauma. But if he loves me, then he should want to fix that for me. If he's truly committed to me, then he should be able to handle all of that. First off, no, that's wrong because he can't fix it. Only you can. But secondly, consider the standard that you're applying inside your relationship. Like, let's flip it. Instead of just talking about his love for you, why don't we talk about your love for him? And this is the part of the conversation that gets really uncomfortable for women. So let's go there. You keep talking about what a man should do for you if he loves you, all the obligations and responsibilities he has towards you. But if you love him, isn't it your job to make his life easier? If you truly love him, don't you feel like it's your responsibility to make yourself as small of a burden on his life as possible? To take responsibility for your own issues so that he doesn't have to deal with you? Isn't that the kind thing to do? And if you truly love him, wouldn't you do that for him? What would your relationship look like if instead of constantly asking, what is this man doing for me? If you spent 50% of the time asking, what can I do for this man? You know we're living in fucked up times when such a simple, logical question feels controversial to say out loud. But here's the hard facts. The criticism leveled at men, oh, he can't handle a real woman. He just wants things to be simple and easy. That makes no sense. How is that a criticism? Why on earth would a man not want things to be simple and easy? How is that a flaw in his character? What rational person wants things to be difficult. Yes, we should all have reasonable expectations. Life is hard. Relationships are difficult. Human beings are complex. We're all going to have struggles and we need to work together to overcome that. But doesn't it make sense that all of the effort that we're putting in is in service of the goal of making our lives easier and more simple? We struggle now so that we don't have to struggle in the future. We work on our mental health issues and engage in all of this self-improvement so that in the future, we can live a life without anxiety, without depression, without trauma, without big emotional issues. We want to be happy. We want to be well adjusted. We want to have a peaceful existence. If a man says that he wants his relationship to be simple and easy, that's not a character flaw. That's evidence that his head is screwed on straight. I'll go even further. His job as the leader in the relationship is to steer both of you towards the greener pastures, to guide you to a life where there is less struggle, less suffering, less pain. That's his goal. That's what he's trying to achieve. And as his girlfriend, the least that you can do is support him in that. And you do that by taking responsibility for your own issues, working on them yourself. I put this challenge out to all women. You need to stop blaming men for not being able to achieve the impossible, for not being able to solve all of your emotional issues. The only thing you're achieving with all of that blame is a perpetual state of victimhood and the ability to continue to absolve yourself of personal responsibility, which is not good for you. It's a bad strategy and it's not going to make you happy. It should be your conscious goal to be as small a burden to your boyfriend as possible. That is what you should be aiming for. Yes, some things will come up and you'll need some support. They'll come up for him as well. That's to be expected. You help each other out, but it's within the greater context of wanting to be better, to get better, to live a life that is better, where life is happy, simple, and easy. So to the high quality women in my audience, if your boyfriend or husband says to you things like, God, I enjoy life with you. You make things so simple. You make things so easy. Existence with you is so peaceful. Well done. Congratulations. You're awesome. You are doing a great job as his wife. But if your husband or boyfriend is just beaten down and tired by all of the codependent expectations that he solve all of your emotional issues, then you need to do 
better. And there's a lesson in that for men too. We should ask the question, is this gendered or is it also a man's responsibility to be as small a burden to his wife or girlfriend as possible as well? There's some really interesting nuances in that one when you flip the genders. And I give the full answer to that question in the Patreon version of this video, which is the extended version. What you're seeing here on YouTube, this is the shortened, condensed, abridged version. If you want to see the full version of this video, head over to Patreon.